What's up guys, Paul from Paul Sclerox Fit. Now what have I learned about fitness in my 52 years on this planet? Now most of you might know that I started out my career as a long distance runner. I got a scholarship to Wake Forest University where I was all Atlantic Coast Conference in the steeplechase and then I got my degree in exercise and sports science. I followed that up with a certification from the National Strength Conditioning Association and the American College of Sports Medicine. When I graduated from Wake, I started my career as a professional trainer immediately, right out of the gate. I was also training in the sport of duathlon where I became the second ranked duathlete in the United States and 25th in the world. For those of you who don't know what duathlon is, it's the sport of running and cycling. So I picked up a love for cycling in my early 20s and then combined that with my running experience and was able to excel in that sport. Today I'm going to go over three topics. Number one, how to truly change your physique. Number two, the pitfalls that I've seen over the years that prevent people from truly achieving their goals. And number three, probably the most important, is the mindset that I have used to maintain my physique and fitness level at the age of 52. So most people wanna know how to get lean, how to get cut, how to get shredded. Most people believe that they have to do more and more cardio in order to get lean. And I've said this in many of my other videos. If you do an activity like this, walking, running, cycling, whatever it is, and you are shaped like a pear, when you get done with all of that cardiovascular training without doing anything else, you're gonna be a smaller pair if everything goes really well and according to plan. You're just gonna shrink the size of your body. You're not gonna change the shape. So if you're an apple and you start out with just cardiovascular training, you're gonna be a smaller apple when you get done. So at the end of the day, resistance training is the trick to changing your physique. Try to avoid the mistake of doing the easiest things that you can get into in order to get started. So if the easiest thing for you is to throw on a pair of shoes and get out, that's great. If it's difficult for you to get into the gym, put on the same pair of shoes and walk into a gym and start lifting, great. I want you to be able to be a jack of all trades. So at the end of the day, if you want to truly change your physique, you have to incorporate physique changing exercise into your workout program and of course, that includes resistance training. Now one of the biggest pitfalls that I see when it comes to people not achieving success in fitness is either staying with a fitness activity for too long or jumping from one fitness activity to another to another. And the same thing applies to diet. They'll start with one diet program, give it a very short period of time, switch to another diet program, very short period of time, so on and so forth. Same exact thing with fitness. They may be doing CrossFit for a while, then they're doing P90X, then they're doing Insanity, and they never stick with something long enough for it actually to work. Now on the flip side, I've seen people stick with an exercise activity for too long when it's not actually giving them the results that they want. For instance, they may have started a fitness program and they're doing the same exact exercises over and over and over, same rep counts, same set counts, same amount of rest, and there's no physical change involved. They get to a point of stagnation and plateau. When you get to that level of stagnation and plateau, if you make it that far, you need to change things up. You need to change the type of activity that you do. And it doesn't mean that you have to change the type of exercise that you're doing altogether. It just may mean that you need to change the number of sets, the rest count, the rep counts, the intensity. You may be working at an intensity that's very, very sub-max the entire time. And in your brain, you think, I'm doing a lot of work, which makes you do what? It makes you potentially eat more because you justify in your head that I've done all of this work I've worked out hard and now I can eat more. And at the end of the day, there's a caloric surplus instead of a caloric deficit. And no, you don't lose weight, you don't get lean, you don't put on a lot of muscle. Most likely, you put on what? Fat. Now the same exact thing goes for diet and nutrition. 
I can't tell you how many people come up to me and say, hey man, you're on the carnivore diet, right? You're doing keto, man. You're doing paleo. What are you doing? And what I've seen with those people is they never find something that works for them. They either don't stick with it long enough or they jump on the bandwagon, whatever's the most popular diet of the day. They get on it and they don't see the results that they want. So no, I don't diet. I've never been on a diet plan. No carnivore, no keto, no paleo, no Neanderthal or whatever the other silly names for these diets are. I intuitively eat and I've done it since I was a little boy. It's just thinking about the foods that you eat and if they're gonna help you or they're going to hurt you. And that's the general rule that I live by. If I eat this, is it gonna help me or is it gonna hurt me? If I eat this, is it gonna change my physique or am I gonna put on fat? Should I eat this cookie? Is it worth it? Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. So I give myself leeway. I'm not extremely strict. Most people look at me and they think that I eat rice cakes and sawdust all day long. I don't. You'll see me go out for a beer. You'll see me go out for pizza. You'll see me go out for steak. I just eat everything in moderation and I typically try to drink in moderation as well. Now, you can forget about absolutely everything else that I said if you don't have the next component. And that component is mindset. And it's exactly how I've been able to get to this point in my life and have the physique that I have. Without mindset, you're nowhere. Mindset comes obviously from within and it is not always teachable. But when I talk about mindset, I'm talking about someone, say, who gets to their 30s or 40s and says, you know what, I'm getting older and I'm gonna cut back on things. I'm not gonna exercise as hard. Why should I? I'm getting older, it doesn't matter, I don't care. And that to me means that you're not taking care of yourself. So when people look at me and they say, well, it's impossible for him to be in shape at age 52. There's no way. Well, those people don't have the same mindset that I have. So if you want to achieve anything, it really doesn't matter what age you are. And most people use age as an excuse. They say, I'm too old to do this. I've never said that, with the exception of a few things like heights. If I get up really high, I always use that excuse, I'm too old for this shit. Now there's a gigantic misconception. I wanna clear things up right now. Most guys, I've never really heard girls accused, but most guys look at me at age 52 and say there's no way he's not taking testosterone or there's no way he's not taking juice or PEDs. And I'll tell you, those people do not have the mindset that I have. And I can look you straight in the eye and tell you, my generation, or at least most people from my generation, worked very hard. There were a lot of people from my generation that decided to stop and not work very hard. And when you stop, your levels of testosterone most likely are gonna go down at a significantly higher rate than someone like me who has never stopped. The only time I've ever stopped is when I got sick and I almost died, and that was back in 2005, and I spent a month in the hospital, and I spent months rehabilitating an infectious disease. So other than that short time period in my life, I haven't taken any breaks. I started getting my testosterone measured in my late 40s. I didn't have a baseline, but everybody was talking about testosterone. I never really thought about it. It was never an issue for me, but I was tired. I was a little bit achy. I went into my doctor and I've told this story before. I said, I'm not sleeping well. I'm tired. I'm achy. I fall asleep during the day. I need to get my testosterone checked. And he looked at me and he said, what makes you think it's your testosterone? So I don't know. I mean, I'm 47 years old and everybody else my age is complaining about the same kind of thing. He said, most likely it's sleep and most likely you have sleep apnea. Sure enough, turns out I do have sleep apnea. I don't have a testosterone problem. My tongue is too big for my jaw. So when I lay back and sleep, it cuts off my airway. It happens every single night. I have a CPAP machine, which I've just never gotten used to. Anyway, off point, back to testosterone. Most people assume you've got to be taking testosterone replacement. And for me, with a very healthy testosterone range at my age, it would be dangerous for me to supplement what I already have. It's kind of like filling up a glass of water that's already up to the top. You, you fill it up with more water and it spills over. There's really no use for it. Guys, don't immediately assume it's your testosterone. and Don't think that you have to go to testosterone replacement therapy just because you think you're low on testosterone. And somebody tells you, yeah, you're low on testosterone. You might not be. Get a check by your doctor. Don't just listen to everybody. I didn't. And again, I have people saying, oh, you need to go on TRT. Why would I need to go on TRT if I'm not having any problems? Regardless, 
That's my position on testosterone replacement. It's also used as an excuse as to why people can achieve their fitness goals. They're looking at me going, well, he takes steroids, he takes testosterone and all that other stuff. I'm not gonna take it and I'm never gonna achieve his, his results or his physique. And that is a gigantic mistake. So mindset all goes along with it. If you have the right mindset, don't listen to everybody else. Do your thing. Do what's important to you. Do what gets you the best results. And if you do that and you have the right mindset, you'll achieve all of the results that you want. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all the next time.